So Tokyo Metropolitan Governor's election is coming up and several candidates including the incumbent governor Ms. Yuko Kuike has have expressed the intentions to stand for their office and you know I should say as a Tokyo recent this governor election is one of the most frivolous elections in the world. There are very little uh, party context, you know. Distance three. <laughs> that was my running application going on. Off again. Uh, you know, as, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, it's the Tokyo governor's election is probably one of the most frivolous in spirit in the world's elections because, uh, you know, uh, there are almost no party context. Uh, in the UK, for example, there would be uh, confrontations between the Conservative and Labour uh, uh, parties and in the UK, US, maybe it will be between uh, uh, you know, the Republican and uh, Democratic parties. But you know, uh, when you come to the governor of Tokyo election, there are almost no party backings, although there are you know, formerly some uh, party endorsements, uh, the result of the election is almost never determined by that. It's a popularity contest and, you know, uh, if you look into the metrics of the election, it's almost, no, it has almost nothing to do with the policies or, uh, you know, agendas or manifestos or, 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 you know, these usual suspects in uh, modern election, you know, it's just the impression, you know, of each candidate that would uh, eventually, um, you know, determine which candidate is going to be the most popular. Uh, it's not that there are no policy, uh, you know, divisions, like, you know, for example, uh, in the, uh, you know, previous uh, elections, uh, there were you know, despite this between um, the candidates uh, on, for example, the movement of the Tsukiji fishery market and also whether to hold a large uh, exhibition in the, you know, Bay Area of Tokyo. But, uh, you know, these things, although interesting, do not actually affect the lives of many Tokyo residents. So, you know, these political discourses having always, well, for a lack of better expressions, superficial. <laughs> so, you know, it's really a popularity contest among candidates, really. I'm really always amazed at how Tokyo residents choose the governor, because, you know, probably deep down they believe that no, no matter what, who becomes the governor, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so this election is going to be another uh, popularity context among different uh, candidates and uh, many predict that Governor Yuko Koike is probably gonna win but you know there's no definite political reasoning for that. Uh, she's just popular and nobody knows why she is popular. She's popular because she's popular. Uh, welcome to the wonderful world of Tokyo governor's election. Probably it's postmodern. Uh, it's probably wonderfully Japanese in its uh, good sense and bad sense. And I'm not going to disclose who I would be voting for because that's confidential. <laughs>